Hello to the Our World Underwater Scholarship Society. My name is Chad Shagrin and I will be applying for your 2010 North American Rolex Scholarship. For a while now, I have been pursuing a career in the field of underwater imagery. According to my parents, and for as long as I can remember, I could not be kept out of the water. Being raised in a short community in New Jersey, the ocean quickly became an intricate part of my life and has played a significant role in shaping me into the man I am today. As a varsity swimmer in high school, I took on the difficult strokes and events, swimming the 100-meter butterfly and the 500-meter freestyle. Later, I would join the Cape May Beach Patrol, where I continued my relationship with the ocean by serving as a lifeguard for the past seven years. Participating in everything from minor first aid calls to critical rescues, including numerous near drownings, countless spinal injuries, a broken femur, and a plane crash. Through the Beach Patrol, I was able to apply an already instilled sense of discipline and learn the importance of balancing responsibility and fun. Attending Long Island University in pursuit of a BFA in film, I earned a 3.7 GPA. I was also on the Dean's List and in the Honors Program. Although the true highlight of my college experience and the work I accomplished there would be my senior thesis, a documentary I shot while living in an orphanage in Kenya. Headlined in my school's annual magazine, this film, entitled Flying Kites, has gone on to win Best Student Film in the Philadelphia International Film Festival. Now. Flying Kites continues to raise countless donations and awareness while functioning as the key visual aid at fundraisers for Flying Kites Global, a now registered charity dedicated to housing and educating orphans in Kenya. A little over a year ago, I shot another documentary in India regarding the social situations that force children from rural areas to big cities. Ultimately, the film examines the temptations and dangers these children fall victim to. You may ask, why am I showing these images? They have nothing to do with scuba diving or my interest to pursue a career in underwater imagery. However, Obtaining these images was not an easy task, and I feel they directly reflect how hard I'm willing to work to get the shot. I stayed with the children as much as possible, and developed a trusting relationship in order to gain access to their world. And not only was it physically demanding, but mentally as well. It's difficult to sit there and film a 12-year-old do drugs, and a 15-year-old set up a blanket on the street. But knowing the film, once complete, has the right networking abilities to be seen by the right people and incline donations, resulting in a children's home being built for these particular kids. Like I said in my biography, the charity work I had done was both educational and emotionally rewarding. However, it would never further my aspirations and dreams to become an underwater cinematographer. In pursuit of that dream, I have more recently hooked up with a job shooting a promotional video for a game fishing boat off Cairns, Australia. I saw this as a great opportunity to advance my versatility as a cinematographer, as well as offset the costs in getting my dive certifications to the requirements the Rolex Our World Underwater Scholarship application calls for and more. Good go, Ted. Got it. With the unpredictable schedule of the boat, I obtained in Port Douglas my open water and advanced open water certifications. Then in Cairns, I was able to swing a couple of days off and do a three day live aboard. And while continuing down to Sydney, I took my rescue course as well as capitalized any opportunity to dive. One of my biggest fears in life is that I become someone who counts the days until the weekend. I am 24 years old and in the next couple of years while attempting my pursuit in this field, by continuing to build my resume, I think to myself, how am I realistically going to be able to keep up with the cost of travel, camera equipment, dive equipment, certifications, and training? And when I think of the world of technical diving, all I want is more. I am young, new, committed, and excited to the world of scuba diving. And this was an occupation I've always wanted to pursue, but never had the resources to do so. And I feel this scholarship possesses the opportunities I need to pursue the job I've always wanted. And if awarded the chance to represent your organization, I would do so to the best of my ability.